Since 1984, the North Cascade Glacier Climate Project has surveyed the population of the mountain goats on Ptarmigan Ridge, just east of Mount Baker in the North Cascades of Washington. This was at the request of the National Forest Service. We do so the first week of August each year, as while well, we're conducting research on the Rainbow and Shoals Glacier. We see three basic herds, the Ptarmigan Ridge herd, outlined in purple, the Shoals herd, outlined in pink, and the Rainbow herd, outlined in red. Uh, we keep track of the populations each separately. The rainbow herd is the smaller one of the three. This is their range the first week in August. We don't pretend this is where they spend the entire year. But they certainly uh, have not overgrazed this area. Uh, they spend some time on the heather, such as here, the Ptarmigan Ridge herd, or uh, here again on Ptarmigan Ridge. But uh, they spend most of their time uh, not grazing in this rich meadows, but uh, on the bare uh, kind of grass near tailless slopes or you know on snowbanks or between snowbanks. Now their population uh, that we've observed, we had two bad weather years where the population we observed was zero. We didn't have any clear weather. But other than that the population of the herds has stayed right around 20 until a series of mild winters starting in 2002 when the population has gone up to 120. Here's the goat bed locations we see within uh, the various herd locations and uh, these goat beds are what they occupy uh, both during sometimes the heat of the day and uh, at night they're usually on places with a good view just bare dirt areas amongst uh, heather or sometimes on just a, a knob above a snow patch uh, if you spook them from one of these beds they'll quickly disappear here's a prominent knob below a glacier we spooked uh, this particular rainbow herd and here they are. We usually don't approach them too much, so we try not to interfere with their life. We just observe them uh, from a distance. And here's a group of 55, part of the Shoals Glacier Herd, just scattered across this mainly bare terrain. A little bit of moss and heather down in here. Some grazing, but not a lot. Uh, here they are crossing the creek below the Shoals Glacier. Again, if you go into this area, you don't see a ton of uh, browsing. It's not like it's overbrowsed. Here's the bed area. Here's the herd on the move. Uh, they're watching us up on the glacier. Here's a group that just settled in for the evening, getting ready to spend their night on this little ridge. And we can observe them uh, without spooking them from uh, a distance. And uh, so here's what we see zoomed in from that same location. So we've had a chance to observe these glaciers over the last 20 years. And if you're looking for more information, take a look at uh, this website. And we look forward to continuing uh, this uh, observation of these fabulous animals that are doing